this was an interesting uh, study that we presented last year. That uh, uh, the all this, so the zero five three four study was a randomized clinical trial to test basically two hypotheses: whether we, if we give six months, four to six months of hormonal therapy, uh, plus or minus pelvic nodal radiotherapy, elective uh, treatment with pelvic lymph nodes, we would improve uh, 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 freedom from progression. This trial is positive uh, for freedom from progression. There was no benefit in uh, metastasis-free survival or overall survival so, so far. Uh, there's also benefit in uh, uh, the use of second salvage hormonal therapy, which was, was very important. Uh, one of the questions is whether this progression and uh, this benefit in uh, progression is caused only by the suppression of testosterone. Uh, very few trials in the post-operative setting have uh, consistently uh, measured testosterone pre and post treatment. And 0534 had a very uh, a reliable uh, uh, data regarding testosterone profile, testosterone kinetics post treatment. So we were able to analyze that and show that, first of all, uh, there are uh, almost half of patients, they do not recover testosterone by the end of these two years uh, uh, from treatment after four to six months of hormonal therapy. And the second uh, interesting finding is that those patients who recover testosterone, or even if they recover testosterone very fast within the first two years, their clinical outcomes are not impacted. So uh, this raises several questions. One is for the use of, of uh, the oral uh, hormonal agents like relugolics um, that have a, a faster testosterone recovery that indirectly we could potentially uh, uh, say that this does not compromise oncological outcomes. And the other very interesting question is uh, uh, testosterone replacement therapy in these patients that probably uh, would not uh, compromise the, their clinical outcomes. However, this needs to be tested in prospective clinical trials.